Yeah, we can do that. Um, okay, uh, my, 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 give, give me one more song, Sister Conrad. One more, 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 uh, give me Never. Give me Never. Is this your no, no, I'm going to put this right here or something. Um, the, uh, those, those binoculars, those binoculars, do, those binoculars. <clears throat> Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You look at the line? Huh? You look at the line? Oh, sure. Yeah, we're going to check because I'm going to Instagram. I don't know if you're going to share it now. Oh, oh. Okay, uh, as soon as he's gone. Says me, uh, the tissue or something. Uh, 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 the tissue. Rico, uh, can you get a box of tissue? Box of tissue, yeah. Y'all bear with us. We're going to come in a few minutes, y'all. As soon as the sun goes, we're coming on in. Yeah, we're here. Here in Seattle with uh, Turner Fred Hopkins Jr. and the Free All Radio. You'll be watching a live broadcast of my live feed as well. Welcome, y'all. Y'all get locked and loaded. Get locked and loaded. Can you get in? Can I break it up, Sister Comrade? Get locked and loaded. You like to make history, take history, take history, y'all. We got some real professional uh, action going on around here. my live feed where I'm um, free them all radio with Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. of the Black Panther Party Cubs. We're here out of Seattle right now. Um, this is going to be a, a live stream from his free them all radio. Um, we're also recording. Yes, Making history, taking history, and taking history, y'all. Y'all stay with us, bear with us. Stay like the Lord. Talk, y'all. Oh, man, hey, we're gonna go through some of the past history. We, hey, present day rainbow field. This we're gonna bring you up to speed, y'all. We ain't knew this we grew to this, y'all. We'll take y'all back. Tell us, we got some precious stuff we got to talk about and be about, y'all. Yeah, we sound one second. Okay, one second. You come right down, if you hear me, you're going to cut it out.
Heads up, eyes open, the fist clinch. Y'all know what this is and how we do this, y'all. Let's get locked and loaded for another episode of Free of All Radio. Hosted by Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. and also Robin Allen, a.k.a. the Lady of Rage. Let's get locked and loaded, y'all. Let's make history. Take history. Shotgun. That's what it is, y'all. If y'all can't take a pause for the calls for a minute, you wherever you at, get those reservations wherever you at. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got another edition coming. You know what I'm saying? The spirit of solidarity. You know what I'm saying? A revolution ain't dead. Some cats might have been scared, but you know what I'm saying? We, we, we continue on and on in the spirit of protracted struggle. This is a weekly program. Again, hosted by yours truly, Chairman Fram Jr., Robin Allen, a.k.a. The Lady of Rage. We are in the historical Seattle, Washington. You know what I'm saying? Seattle. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been hot up here for a while. We get some background on that. We're going to go a little farther back than that. Um, we're going to touch down, not just in recent history, but our comrade, Connor, who's with the um, Tiny House Warriors, who's been happening, you know what I'm saying, in regards to the uh, ongoing fight uh, of political prisoners and ongoing fight about the land question, the uh, Standing Rock, the pipelines. Even before that, we're going to be touching, you know what I'm saying, on different uh, campaigns before it was um, fashionable. We're talking about, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 talking about coalition building. And we got the movie uh, the Judas and the Black Messiah came out. A lot of people say, man, I didn't know Chairman Frey actually one who organized the Rainbow Coalition. And we said, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Again, we don't wait till things become um, safe or chic to acknowledge it. We, you know what I'm saying? Again, we formed principal coalitions, and we have been quite some, for, for quite some time. You know, uh, we've been honored, we've been fortunate, you know what I'm saying? Connecting the cases of uh, long-held political prisoners, Mumia Abu Jamal, Imam Jamal Al Amin, former H. Trap Brown, Linda Peltier, you know, uh, we're going to talk to the kids, Tyrone Pettis, uh, Pettis, Orlando Wiley, your brother, the sister down the street, the lady, you know what I'm saying? Tying this in. Because uh, it's a policy that transcends geographical gender and generational lines. And so, again, you know, since the time when we want to seize the time where people are talking about struggle, there's some common conversations that have been happening, you know what I'm saying? Again, whether it be the ghettos, the barrios, the, the reservations, you know what I'm saying? To, uh, forms, various forms of chemical, biological warfare, you know what I'm saying? Uh, making that, finding that, that principal point of unity and coming through the doors real, it's recognizing that there are contradictions within our various respective communities, the red community, the black community, the brown community. However, we relate to the Black Panther Party position that differences between the people are reconcilable. However, differences between the people and the state are irreconcilable. And we ain't just talking about no abstract conversation tomorrow. Like we should all just come together and do this and that. We put, uh, we say that where the rubber meets the road at, you know what I'm saying? We, yeah, when it comes down to putting this, uh, the skin in the game, you know what I'm saying, and that work. And so we're going to be talking about that going back. You know what I'm saying? Not in nostalgic, just uh, remembering about the campaigns, you know what I'm saying, that we've engaged in. You know, you know, from uh, points of unity about saving the Hampton House, going down to Standard Rock, challenging the pipelines, going to be on North Dakota, you know what I'm saying? Um, some of the historical significance of Wounded Knee, you know what I'm saying? Uh, being honored, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The, the, uh, the sun dances, you know what I'm saying? Comrade, you know, hitting the streets, the streets uh, uh, was infamously referred to as Chirac. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, finding, again, points of unity, how we can relate uh, uh, in, in, in regards to struggle. We're going to be talking about that. I know many of us in our respective communities have been impacted by the John Wayne movies as well as the Tarzan movies. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, think, you know, a lot of people say, I ain't know no indigenous people, the native people still here. A lot of people say, I ain't know no the black, kept, black people still resisting. Resistance is still happening, y'all. So y'all feel free to get, uh, saying, to get on board with us. 929-477-3785. Press one. We're going to be getting this documented, y'all, because I think it's imperative. We say make history, take history, and tape history, y'all. That's what it is, y'all. So take a minute if y'all can. Uh, to holler out the front window, the back doors, and let them know that we locked and loaded for another episode of Free Them All Radio. That's what it is. Comrade Connor, was good to have you on deck. You know what I'm saying? So we, we just we just as earlier talking about some of the past campaigns that we've been fortunate to engage in and we, the work we've been doing. Um, I recall, like, you know, just even uh, hitting the road with these different political prison campaigns, the Standing Rock, so on and so forth. Uh, we here. Again, y'all, seize the time. Got our co-hosts riding shotgun. So that's what it is. We got the number just posted up. 929-477-3785. You can't touch, you know, 3785. Then press 1. So feel free. You know what I'm saying, coach? You know how we do it. You know what I'm saying? Do what it do. I don't know if you just, I mean, feel free to, you know what I'm saying, just some of the past the campaigns, and also we've seen what's happening today. We have the image of the Rainbow Coalition with Chairman Fred, um, with uh, forces such as um, Cha Cha Menez, you know what I'm saying, Alicia with the Young Lords, 
uh, uh, the young patriots, and not not people don't know about even with, you know what I'm saying, with the, in particular the black community, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the way that, you know, the, those principal coalition, the chairman free are organized. Okay, all right, niece, I see you, so let me know when you, when, uh, 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 you say, if you say Ty can call in, we, I guess this is um, brothers close to, you know, close to my heart, close to our heart. I don't know how, how, how we're going to do it, so I don't know if he's going to call you, let me know if he's going to call you and you call in with him, or let me know. Y'all seen also with the Rainbow Coalition uh, intentionally took the uh, Rainbow Coalition from there, as was the present day Rainbow, Rainbow Coalition, the Black Panther Party Cubs, has been engaged in it for quite some time. Also, we have a picture of the infamous Cook County Jail, the largest county jail in the country. Speaking of which, there's some uh, mobilization set, I believe it's Mar this Sunday, March 28th, I think at 2 o'clock or 12 o'clock. Let me check for that, that time. Um, this is the Greer uh, Lee, Sandra Greer Lee, uh, the widow of Nick, Nicholas, Lee, Nick, Nick, Nicholas Lee, who quote unquote died, who is, you know, uh, it, 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 the state acknowledges, you know what I'm saying, through, the, through that neglect, you know what I'm saying, he, he gave detail, Nick, Nick, Nicholas Lee gave detail of the death that was happening around him, you know what I'm saying, inside the infamous Cook County Jail. And you know, for all practical purposes, they murdered him. So it's a, mob it's a mobilization happening right there at Cook County Jail this Sunday, that's March 28th. Um, we, uh, you know, we've seen the, the uh, Mother Conrad, we were just talking about this other day, the recent photograph of uh, Mumia Abu Jamal, uh, who's a former Deputy Minister of Information for the Philadelphia branch of the Black Panther Party, who uh, you know was uh, for, uh, who covered down on everything ranging from progressive sit situations in the community to what really went down with the Moo family. The state has technically taken Mumia off of death row, but we see that this state, you know what I'm saying, this system is so Machiavellian, is innovative and it's creative with its ways of giving us to implement the death penalty. So we got to move fast, we have to move organized, and demand, uh, pushing for the release, the immediate release of long held political prisoner Mumia Abu Jamal. H.R. Brown, formerly known as Imam Jamil Al Amin, you know what I'm saying, they told me that the, 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 uh, the deteriorating eyesight, you know what I'm saying. And we, you know, so this is one of the most this was one of the charismatic representatives of our movement. We had to, you know, saying this um, tied. You know, a lot of time we talk about these contradictions. I don't never want to get the impression that whether we talk about the murders in Chirac, whether we talk about the the, 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 um, the mass kidnapping and prison of people throughout the world, it does not impact us. You know, I you know I grew up with this brother here, and uh, uh, I, I think he's gonna call in, or at minimum his daughter gonna call in, and give us the ID number. We're going to put the call in is about calling for the clemency on tie, on tie and um, welcome a few brothers home recently and some sisters. I think we, uh, we're pushing to keep this, 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 this term of uh, compassionate, compassionate release. That's, a, that's something we've been pushing for a lot of cases with people who locked up. So keep that in y'all mind too, that compassionate release in regards to this climate with the coronavirus. And you've seen the pictures of Cook County Jail that we have on the flyer. That's, that's some of the major topics that we're talking about, but don't be limited by that because, again, Sky's the limit. If you have a curfew or you can't go past state lines or you got to report in, either, you know, you know, move, you know, kind of be creative how you move around. And we ride. And we are we from Seattle, Washington to Sierra Leone, from Chicago to Chicago. We riding, y'all. You know what I'm saying? From the reservations to the ghettos, we riding to my free mall. That's right. Did you say someone was calling in to give an uh, update on... Um, and then, Jamie, um, the, the number and address and everything. I didn't. I, 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 we, 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 I didn't say that, but we definitely would like you know, send someone to call you know, to definitely. I don't have it right by handy, but his, um, his, uh, up, his, his number, and his present status. So uh, definitely encourage, encourage that you know, since when he called in, and do that definitely. Okay, because I, I know I have a, um, I have an address on him. I don't know if it's the same. I don't even know if he's in the same location. It was in Arizona, Tucson, Arizona. And, um, you know, we had the one prison and one contact. So I did have, uh, he was my, my, con, my one prison and one contact. And, and uh, he responded to me. And I, I have uh, that address. So we'll wait they say because I don't well, know. You can give out, well, you can give out the ID number for now because the, the, the prison number the, pri the prison number uh, stays the same. He said, okay, we just got an update. He's still in Arizona. So, yeah, so he's still in Arizona as we speak. So you can, yeah, you can give out that, con that name and contact. And for those who view him, if y'all can type this, and we need those, need those letters put out and also um, 
uh, we gonna we gonna put out uh, you know how we moving forward about putting out the calls for the release of uh, Emmanuel. You know what I mean? For those A Tribe Brown. But if you, if you can, you can re get it out, and someone who's watching, they can type that information, please. Okay. Okay. So, so um, it's the um, inmate name, and it has Jamil Alamin, J M I L, capital A A L dash M I N. Then it has R E G number, 99744. Five five five, United States Penitentiary, Tucson. Post Office Box two four five five zero, Tucson, Arizona, eight five seven three four. So. One more, one more time, if you can, please. I repeat that one more time. Uh, inmate name, uh, Alabine. Yep. Jamil Alamin, J M I L, capital A L dash A M I N, number 999-74555, United States Penitentiary, Tucson, office box 24550, Tucson, Arizona. Eight five seven three four. Right on. Also, if we can get someone to give us Mumi up, um, the Mumi Abu Jamal number, uh, at number status. Uh, Tyrone Pettis, I think his uh, his prison number is on that number. And uh, let me give, me give me a heads up so the current we get a phone call in. Um, we may have the opportunity to talk to him directly himself or his daughter. Let me say this too. Um, we encourage with the one prison one contact that everyone has. A, Excuse me. No, Sister Daphne. Mm -hmm. I have a call at you. Bring the, bring the call in because it might be him. Bring, bring the call straight in. Free them all. Free them all. But we have uh, Sister Nikia Pettis. Sister Nikia Pettis. Yes, Sister Nikia Pettis. Free them all. Free them all. Free them all. Welcome. 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 Takia. You on? Right on, right on. He's good. He's good to hear you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh, right on, right on. That's um. Oh, he on, he on, he on Uncle Is town, town also? I got my uncle. I got my uncle Myron Pettis on his way. Okay, okay, okay. Right on, right on, right on. Man, chairman, what's going on? Hey, oh, hey, how you doing, beloved hey, I hear you. Hey, you sounding good, loud, loud and strong. Man, we're real free of them all. Good to hear your voice, man. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Good to hear your voice, man. I'm having fun. Yes, indeed. I, I, I rule. I rule. <laughs> yes, free sir. We're real free of them all. Yes, sir. Hey, listen. Man, good to hear your voice. Um, Give us. Let me start this. You already know. Right back at you. It's been a blessing. And, 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 uh, let me just make sure I, I go into it. You know, when I, I saw the reflection of the movie, but didn't give enough justice to anything that I know for a fact that you contribute. So I know you've been getting it a lot lately, but yeah. you want to, I want to, as, as someone who's direct impacted by your, your impulse, man, thank you for all your sacrifice, huh? and everything you can be to do. We love you. We appreciate you. Oh, man. Hey, hey, I'm honored. I'm humbled. I mean that from the heart. You know, um, let me say this. Even with that movie, it's a lot of talk about, you know, um, awards, Oscars, and so on and so forth. And that, that's, that's, that, that's, that's right on because it helps put in certain arenas and throughout the world. But my biggest honor, you know, my, my, the awards and hearing word from, you know, those in the penitentiaries and the, in the ghettos and in, 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 in the community, I, which in my office, which I serve, that's the, that's, that's the biggest honor, man. You know what I'm saying? I want, you know, we, I, I, I want, we want to do our people proud, man. And you know, we say revolutionary is never satisfied. It's never satisfied. But we honored to serve, man. You know, I don't on, on Chairman yeah, Fred's on this tombstone to say, had my people been free, I don't know what I spent my life doing. So thank you, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for allowing you know so I tell the people, you know what I'm saying, thank you for allowing me. Thank you for allowing us to serve y'all. It's an honor to serve the people, man. Yeah, 
It's an honor to serve the people. You know, um, I, you know, it, it, it'll be a, a, uh, it'll be ideal that I can be, you know, uh, a force of such as myself and others that we would not need it. But the deal is, even we, even in freedom, we know what Chairman Mao Zedong said that the reactionaries will attempt to rear their ugly heads at any given time. So we got, you know, so we're gonna keep, we're gonna stay locked and loaded. We're gonna stay organizing. We're gonna stay pressing. You know what I'm saying? And also, we cannot do, we cannot do, we, do, we cannot do, we do, yes, uh, when I support the people. So, talk to us, man. Yeah, let me, let me, give me the, give me the prison, the, the, the number of Tyrone Pettis, my brother, your family, you know what I'm saying? Um, the ID number, you know what I'm saying? Where is he at? And where, where we have this clemency hearing about Very him? Let me get a charger. A charger. Yeah, I'll let it over here. Anything. Okay, um. Yeah. I don't mean to cut you off. It's all good. But uh, my father is. You already know that. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, baby. Yeah, the number is N52785 and Danville Correctional Facility. One more time, one more time, niece. Can you say Danville and Virginia? Right, go no, Danville and Illinois. Okay. Do me a favor, baby. Spell his first and last name and his number and the uh, the, the facility where he is, so everybody can take it down. Okay, that's Tyrone Pettis, T Y R O N E T E T T I E S. The number is N five two seven eight five and Danville Correctional Facility. What's the zip there? Hello. Yeah, baby. You know the zip code where it is? Yeah, I'll do it. Hold on. Yeah. She's looking for a little bit. Hold on. 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 Hold well, well, we'll we'll be finding that, but tell tell us about um who we, do you know who we can about this uh, clemency or like what's the status of it and who you know should we like um support letters who can they be sent to should, do you know if it's in, uh, uh, is it Governor Prisca's office now or the, uh, what they call it, the Prison Review Board do you know what what um what stage the clemency hearing is with, with him at you know what that said if you don't don't. Okay. Um, getting over by the over, getting overview by the board. Okay. And so right now I just keep support by saying like once he get released, he has the establishment by support. Yeah. And and resources and everything ain't gonna be all right. So we also okay they they they, they, have, they haven't given us a decision yet. Okay, like the prison review board, they haven't said if they voted the, the position. To, uh, to give him clemency, that's not that's not that's not come out yet, has it? No, no, uh, it hasn't. Okay. We need we need support. We need support letters. Then we need support letters that you know, uh, the, 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 you know. Uh, from yes, I need I need as many as support letters as possible. Yeah. So again, y'all, Tyrone Pettis. We gonna get that. Uh, we, we, we okay. We call for. Um, Double duty. We want. We need the one prisoner, one contact. What means let us to him. You know what I'm saying? You know because the, the morale and security plays a key role. And also, we get that zip code. He's in Danville. We'll get. We'll have. We're gonna have. Uh, get that. Have that number given. Given out again. But the prison review board. Again, the prison review board. That. that that's the stage we're in. In regards to for the uh, clemency. After the prison review board. After the prison review board. Uh. uh Makes their decision. Uh, we got two. After they make their decision. The governor, the governor, Governor Prisker. So, I'm going to suggest you know, week that we have those letters going in. But you know, what I'm saying people calling for uh, a clemency. Tyrone, you know, what I'm uh, Tyrone Pettis, and uh, again, we're going to have the ID number read, read up again. Mark, write it down. Excuse me. So I can type it in for us also. This brother, I grew up, man, like a, like a brother to me. I mean, um, uh, man, I'm just, I'm having flashbacks and now. 
do some more, go on that memory lane, think back back to the days. But nothing is good. Um, Tyrone Pettis. Uh, so you know, let us ASAP as we speak. So that's our homework assignment, y'all. We need we need those letters in ASAP. You need to support letters to him. Again, he's down in Danville. I, I, I think he's been got how long? How long? How long he been down? Down these? How long he been locked down? You know, it, 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 and it's um. Yeah, it's been a long one. Yeah. Twenty rough years. Yeah. You know, and uh, I would say that this been, you know, uh, beyond beyond stressful for everyone that he's impacted, that this situation has impacted, is an understatement. So again, y'all, if anyone could just, you know, show y'all love, help us with this clemency process by probably helping us get those letters in, so we can get the board, you know, his name up there to the board and let them know that, you know, it's a whole world of loved ones that's anticipating him to break that seal so any any letters of clemency would be greatly appreciated real talk Jackie. So, 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 give the information once again go ahead I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna say this Taki you said you said it in plain in plain lame, layman's in plain regular everyday terms the other day um when you, when you when you reached out to me and I got and I, 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 I get I, you, you reached out to me I just got the letter I got the letter from Ty the day before, and you said you said a mouthful. You said you know, man. Um, okay. You said you want you know need your daddy. You know, you know what I'm saying. And then, 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 I mean, I mean, in, in, in plain like, real, real, real talk. And also his. Say it again. You broke up. Uh-huh. Say it again, uh-huh. niece. Uh-huh. She still with us. Is she still with us? That's that, that that's um that's that's that speaks volumes. That speaks volumes to you know like you know like in, um as, as we said a mouthful, you know the impact like you know somebody you know like even just um in our community with certain you know, certain, certain elements taken out of there. I again I know the impact this brother had. You know what I'm saying. Even coming up with them, but just you know, saying that 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 says in plain language terms, man, she need a, need a daddy. You know what I'm saying? And our people. So again, y'all, I try to put the, I try to put everything objectively, politically, but again, is this um the people's pain reflects? It hurts. It's it's um uh, it's humbling. You know what I'm saying? How we you know we we don't never have time to um. One of our assets and one of our liabilities is that we adapt so damn well. We we, we pick up and we keep moving. But there, 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 these are, there are certain elements that I mean, needs. You know what I'm saying? Guys, our fathers, our mothers, that you know what I'm saying, and, 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 uh, that, that you can really see the impact in our communities. So again, y'all, we put on the, we put a, a, a test call. And uh-huh. God, we need those support letters. Regard to our brother Tyrone Pett, Pettis. You know what I'm saying? That ID number. And we need those those letters again flooding in to the Prison Review Board. The Prison Review Board, as well as, as, well as Governor Prisca. You know what I'm saying? Especially right, you know, that we there's an old saying they have in the prisons in particular that there are no guaranteed outdates. No guaranteed outdates. And we say this climate with the coronavirus is capitalism on steroids. Again, coronavirus is capitalism on steroids. So it was bad before. It was bad before. It's super intense right now. So again, ain't no we cannot afford the luxury to say, well, what about we you know, wait wait till a few months, wait till next year? You know, we you know, imagine we know how it feels every day we turn up. We don't know who going to you know, turn the TV on. It's like it's a given. We are we are already before coronavirus. You know, in Chicago, in particular, other places, we know how many people got murdered. I mean, we could, like, we become used to it, accustomed to it. And this is happening in ghettos, the reservations, you name it. Then to add to that, to add to that, you know what I'm saying, the coronavirus every day. You know what I'm saying, uh, uh, so many deaths, 50 deaths, you know what I'm saying, hundreds of deaths, you know what I'm saying. And uh, Asana Shakur said, we're well, being oppressed you have to struggle to distinguish what's normal and what's abnormal. Malcolm X said America itself represents prison. Minister U.E.P. News said prison is a microcosm of the outside community. So they, they, it's numbers inside the jails that we don't know nothing about. You know what I'm saying? That the people are dying, I mean, dying to be murdered, left and right up inside those jails. And I said before, Adolf Hitler, his first victims in the gas chambers was the ones who did not receive any mail. Those were the initial victims in the gas chambers. There are prisoners in Illinois who have been dead over an excess of 15 years. 15 years.
but the state still okay. gets paid for them because no accountability. They must be very clear that we know who Tyrone Pettis is. The state must be clear, you know what I'm saying, that he has, he has outside support. It must be very clear that we push, we put, we put the pedal to the metal in regards to the campaign, you know, and the, an immediate call to bring Tyrone Pettis home. Real talk, y'all. Yes, we, yes, the chairman. Yeah. Uh, bring him off. Bring him off. So, uh, how Come would on. you, for those who may be listening who, who have never written a support letter, how would you suggest that they word it, or what type of language should they put into this letter that they may be writing for the first time? Okay, basically, we looking for support and saying, like, you know, once he get out and he get back in the world, he have a, a great and an awesome support system. And he also, he, you know, he has something to look for. And, like, he, he's coming out to help me and also his grandkids. His grandkids haven't seen him, haven't, haven't ever even touched him or hugged him. And my oldest daughter is 11. My youngest daughter is seven months, and my son is seven years old. And they never, ever seen him, but they, they have helped him several times over and over. And like, as far as like, on video calls, but they never said of hugging their grandfather. You know what I'm saying, what I'm saying? So I need him, and, and yes, he, he has all the love and the choice he needs. And I, I, I appreciate every and each one who is able to reach out and send these towards my father. Okay. And I would add to that, I would just say that the, the main thing, if they could just help us just stressing that, uh, my brother Tyrone is, is not only a, a beloved member of of our family, but also his community in the back of the yard, his community. No so doubt, no doubt. a community that's also in, in, in need of him. And, uh, you know, overall, you know, in any aspect, he's a great father, he's a great brother, he's a great man that, you know, he, he deserves his opportunity of, of freedom after so long of, of unjust uh, stuff in his, his, his situation. So in the letter, I mean, any aspects of the letter that can speak in that regard of, of him, him being such a beloved and this individual will be a, a, a great assistance. And of course, as the uh, aunt was saying, you know, de dealing with the fact that we're dealing with that unnecessary element of COVID-19 is really that fear that kind of uh, really have us really want him, you know, at home as soon as possible, being in that enclosed environment. I mean, this world is already unhealthy enough, but we're putting a, a, a different element when you're talking about an enclosed environment. So if we can speak to that, that will also be a great benefit. And again, like my niece just said, any letters, any support is not only appreciated, but it's, it's very, it's very much love. We, we appreciate that. Free them all. This is the mom. Elliot's mother, comrade, Aku and Jerry. Free them all. Free them all. Free them all. Free them all. I just want to make a suggestion. Repeat his number and the correct spelling of his name again. And since the Prisoner Review Board has not made a decision, I would urge people to write the Illinois Prisoner Review Board. I'm going to give you the address. Illinois Prisoner Review Board. Illinois Prisoner Review Board, 319 East Madison Street. 319 East Madison Street, Suite A. That's in Springfield, Illinois, 62701. And excuse me uh, for interrupting Chairman Fred and Lady no. Ray. I know that's your guy, uh, Queen Daphne. I know that's your guy, Chair. Chairman, so I just want to interrupt. Get the word as quickly as you can to the Illinois Prisoner Review Board. That way he don't have to send it to him. You can send a letter directly to him, tell him what kind of support you can offer, you know, and you will be working to help get him employment, that you'll be <clears throat> also be, uh, uh, have allowances for him for clothing when he gets out so he can go on the job, what have you. But those things are, are really necessary that he not just going to be out here. You know what I'm saying? And that the community and the, yeah. and that, the family and the community yeah. love him and miss him and the impact that he would have on the community if he was out here. And all those things you said about the COVID and all of that. But yeah. I just wanted to give that Illinois Prisoner right Review on. Board information because they're the one that, that make the recommendation to the governor. 
Right on. Right on. And the government can say yay. The government can say yay or nay. You know what I'm saying? The government. Yes, and indeed. The review, the review and board. All right. I'm going to get off now, but I had to say that. You right on. We appreciate that. Right on. Illinois prisoner one. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay. Illinois prisoner review board, three one nine East Madison Street, Suite S U I T E A capital A, and that's in Springfield, Illinois, and the zip is six two seven zero one. Those who grew up in the um, area, you know, I, I, I come up in again. This is a, a name that rang, you know, um, and still rings again. And I, I said, I gave this analogy before um, about this piece on the uh, animal, the animal channel, and they were talking about these um, these elephants that, that they were going through. They call the musk, the musk period, kind of, and it's equivalent to um, to uh, puberty. And, and, and the elephants start, you know, bumping against each other. And it, and it wasn't because there was no bad elephants. They, you know, it's, uh, uh, but the deal it was, it was natural. And just with the presence of bringing one bull, with just the presence of this elephant, this presence around, it tempered everything out. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and, and, and even chemically speaking, they, they refer to the pheromones. But politically speaking, which is really my arena, you know what I'm saying? Our communities are offset. It's imbalanced. You know what I'm saying? Um... And again, uh, we cannot afford the luxury, you know what I'm saying, to say, you know, uh, to say okay, well, man, um, to rely on this system um, to deal with the crime in our community, so on and so forth. Anybody going to save us but us? This uh, Tyrone, Tyrone Pettis is cut from a cloth of um, principle, cut from the cloth, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, um, checks and balances. In other words, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, structure. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, again, it's something our community is deprived of, and I, you know what I'm saying. So again, these these are um, elements that are necessary for the ingredients that that, that are ne that are a necessary ingredient. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and balancing our communities out. That's real talk. So again, we need y'all. Can't say this enough. Make sure y'all follow through. With this, uh, getting those letters written up. So this, don't, don't don't procrastinate. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait till tomorrow. Again, it's, it's, it's intense. It's cold, real with these cases with this coronavirus. We know, sad to say, we, we wake up in the morning. We don't know who we gonna hear. You know what's happening? Imagine inside those prisons. Imagine inside those concentration camps. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in the field, what can we do? You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all look at those pictures and push the issue. Tie it in on a conversation. You do the poetry spot. You know what I'm saying? Type it on your yes. type it on your Facebook. Type on your Facebook. They say it's your status. Type it in. Type his name and ID number and say you know what I'm saying or uh, Get that prison review board. Uh, to get that letter to him, and don't worry, don't 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 be tripping about your articulation. If you if you spell something wrong, don't trip on that. So if you, you don't know what to say, say exactly what Takia just talked about. You know what I'm saying? He had daughter, the grandchildren want to see him. You know, need need to see him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So again, the community welcome back and welcome arms. You know what I'm saying? So again, put that call out, y'all. Tyrone Pettis, free Tyrone Pettis, free them all. We live and direct, y'all. Free them all. Radio making history, taking history. Thank you for y'all reaching out and helping me, you know, to get my father home. 
Yeah. Free them all. 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 It's open to you, the community, to whoever want to call and, and vent, call and, you know, ask for support. We're here for that. That's what we're here for, amongst other things. We're yeah, and I want to... Appreciate it. Love, man, love nephew. you, niece. And nephew, up, Ma, man, love, love y'all. Y'all keep us posted, man. Any updates, man? We're going to get them letters out to them. You know what I'm saying? If, uh, uh, niece, you talk to them, or Marlon, whenever you talk to them, let them know we got his back like a backpack and got his chest like a bulletproof vest. Real talk. Love y'all. Love y'all. all. That's what it is. So we riding, y'all. We riding. We, we, in, that, in that order. Real, free them all. Come around, we, we, we riding it. We're going to go, um, uh, we, we still, here we are in Seattle. We are in Seattle, Washington, which was a hot spot not that long ago. Uh, you want to tell you want to give us the historical significance of this place, kind of loose by Seattle, Washington? You want to touch on that for us, where we at? What's the historical significance of uh, where we at? Maybe I want to. Uh, you want to come and give an update here? And give an update? Oh, <laughs> oh <is that? laughs> Um, yeah, we're meeting up here in uh, Seattle, Washington. Um, this is like um, a real hot spot right now because we're dealing with the Trans Mountain um, pipeline expansion coming from the Alberta tar sands. This is one of the major issues that we as Indigenous people are facing right now. And um, the Alberta tar sands is an area, if you don't know, in so-called Alberta, Canada, that they want to mine the area the size of Texas. It's one of the biggest carbon bombs in the world, one of the biggest um, creators of this climate change that we're facing right now. Um, indigenous people are the first climate refugees and you know the poor and oppressed are gonna be the first um, climate refugees of the world. And we're fighting back, we're building tiny houses and wheels in the path and blocking this Trans Mountain Canadian owned um, pipeline. Um, this pipeline wants to flow 890,000 barrels of bitumen every day this is toxic this isn't honey oil this isn't um regular oil conventional oil this is toxic bitumen that will sink if it and when it spills and this is the the substance that they want to um, pipe all the way from edmonton through the rocky mountains through my territory all the way to the to the coast to the here where we're at and put them in two super tankers and bring them all the way down the coast of Washington, Oregon, and down into California. And so one of the real reasons why we really are um, touching down here for myself is because it's um, significant for us to unify with everybody along this pipeline's path and this tanker's path. It's a way for us to continue to organize for our land, um, land rights as Indigenous people, to fight back against the colonial government that has just continue to destroy us and our land um, since contact in Canada. It's been um, around 150 years of colonization. And so it's not like um, other parts of the world where there's been major, you know, a thousand years colonization or 500 years of colonization when Christopher Columbus landed on our continent here. Um, but 150 years is a baby country and that's what we're up against um, Canada. Um, we're here to unite with Chairman Fred Hampton Jr., um, continue to do solidarity work and build our um, allyship. This is an ongoing relationship and, and ally building since 2001. Mm. Um, but even prior to that, um, my father was involved in the Red Power Movement. His father came to Canada. He, they listened. He listened. Uh, my father actually went to go listen to your father speak yeah. in, in Edmonton. Um, this was two weeks before he was assassinated exactly. and you know I was raised knowing about um, who your family is and the significance of continuing to build this alliance so I'm so grateful that we're here together and just grateful for to be on the Free Em All radio. Um, there's many different campaigns that we have worked on. One of them is Free Orlando Watley yes. um, out of Calipatria Prison. Go check out freeorlandowatley.org um, online. You'll find information, all his um, mailing information as well. Also, um, we continue to just continue to build. We went many different places together to mm. Baltimore, to Philly with the with the Moo family and yes. Frumimia Fru 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 and um, Wounded Knee to Liberation Day. 
um, Boston or Baltimore? Baltimore, uh, the, Freddie, the Freddie Gray case, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. You know, so we have, um, I forget what the, the particular case it was, but uh, constant, you know, saying, uh, nonstop, you know, crossing um, throughout the whole map, you know, saying, for points of unity, standing right North Dakota. And, you know, saying, that, and uh, this, uh, like I say, a lot of people talk about this coalition building, you know, uh, uh, not, not, not a lot of life has been brought into the conversation. I was seeing the trailer for the movie, you know, with Chairman Fred, you know, with the Rainbow Coalition, but I was just, we ain't new to this, we grew, we, ain't, we are not new to this, we grew to this. And, you know what I'm saying, we have been fortunate as well as unfortunate. I say unfortunate, the fact that we got to deal with these cases and campaigns. As you mentioned, Orlando Wiley, Mumbi Abu Jamal, Linda Peltier, and we are saying, and, and, and again, uh, we, it's something that should not be taken uh, uh, for light, it's a, a, the do coalitions a respect of each other's respective communities, you know what I'm saying, touching down, you know, again, aiding and respecting that precious entity of self-determination, you know what I'm saying, and finding that way, you know what I'm saying, and getting people involved in the work. I, I, I remember we went down to Standard Rock, North Dakota, how, you know what I'm saying, just even which forces we took down there, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and literally invested being down there, and if, and if a lot of people don't know the, the significance of that, the state does. Um, Connor Hoos and others were giving, these, giving Trump those charges in regards to uh, uh, defending the, the land and challenging the pipelines. It was in the, court, in the, in the courtrooms, in the, in the court transcripts. They brought, the, the state had actually documented which, which, which day I came down, the Black Panther Party Cubs, who we met with, who our conversations were met with. So what I'm saying is to say we can't afford the luxury to talk about Cointel Pro or surveillance or assassination in some sort of abstract type of way. I'm thinking back, like, you know, even in New York, you know what I'm saying? Your sister, we ride, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 our property being stolen, you know what I'm saying, by the state. And these are the, the, the continuous kind of insurgency, and that, that is a major, a major fear uh, that this system has, and, and, you know, seeing these coalitions being built, and, and, and many, many of which, you know what I'm saying, Surpass our, you know, our time, you know, of organizing. You know, in fact, I'm, uh, that's been one of the struggles about me even going to Canada, you know, because it was like, as, as you pointed out, two weeks after Chairman Freddie came back from Canada, and I heard also that uh, I think two weeks after Malcolm X had came back, the assassination that went down. They, you know, this this ups the ante in regards to inter uh, internationalism, you know, because uh, a lot of times uh, the, the state attempts to keep our struggles subjugated to, you know, saying even in, in, say the South Side as opposed to the West Side in Chicago. Once we start linking these linking these different respective struggles up, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and redrawing the line of demarcations, Minister U.E.P. News said, who do you, who, who, who's interested you relate to, the state or the people? So again, we've been fortunate to have a, a resume, a track record of an uh, ongoing coalition. We're going we're gonna to keep on, we're gonna keep on um, making history. We're going to keep on taking history. We're going to keep on taping history, y'all. That's what it is. Yes. Carnival, free them all. Free them all, Lady of Rage. Um, I've, been, <laughs> I've been watching you, uh, you know, your post on Instagram and the fight that you continue to fight. And uh, I saw the post that you put about the teens, the teenagers who were arrested and, and I think they were assaulted by the cops and uh, jailed, put in handcuffs and things like that. And I see, you know, uh, the continuation of the struggle, you, 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 it's, it's with the, with the, the no dabble, the Dakota Access Pipeline is, uh, uh the Keystone, uh, I think it's Key, is the Keystone Pipeline? I think it was. And, and this, the one that's going on in Canada, mm -hmm. what's it called one more time? It's a Trans Mountain Pipeline, and there's also the Line 3 Pipeline that's going on in the, the wild rice country out in Minnesota right now and there's been over a hundred arrests that have been happening and I know people are going out there as well and getting criminalized and arrested you know there's over a hundred that ar got arrested there but when you were talking about the youth that's the braided warriors everybody could check them out the braided warriors and they're the indigenous youth movement up in so-called Canada is just on fire it's just popping off right now more youth are just joining all across the country right now our native population is a baby boom and everybody's under the age of 25 so we have so much young people and that's the age of fighting age and they're ready and willing to continue to organizing and they're looking at us older ones for the direction and 
We don't want them to make the same mistakes. We want them to continue to learn what we've learned and continue to go forward with the new creative way about them that they do with their technology and the music and and um, just the actions, just getting out there on the streets and out on the territory and putting their boots on the ground because they're the youth and it's inspiring us all. say is that because we our water is sacred and we know that as humans we're made up of what 70 percent or so water and if we pollute our water that's only yeah. going to reflect onto our bodies and we already see the amounts of cancers and different toxins and diseases that our people and the most impacted are all, always the most impoverished and it's the black and brown communities that are being impacted by all different toxins i mean all around the great lakes They've been dealing with so much industry. Indigenous people have an area called Chemical Valley up on the Canada side of the Great Lakes that they've been fighting for so long. They can't drink the water. Over 60% of our native communities are in drinking water advisories while the cities remain um, in Vancouver. Like, like Vancouver remain one of the top places in the world to live, but one of the most expensive places in the world to live. And But there's epidemic... Um, epidemic um, proportion of opioid drug use and um, overdoses on welfare day there'll be like 1400 overdoses in Vancouver's downtown east side so we're seeing a lot of impacts that any of these major cities are seeing um, up in Canada and we say it's a, all from the depla displacement of us from our lands um, we're forced onto 0.2 percent of our land base, that's the Indian reserves, if you add them all up in Canada, equals 0.2 percent. So we don't have any land base. And we all know that land equals liberation, that we need this land to be liberated as, as Indigenous people. And so we're forced onto this small size, and that's what brings us to stand up and fight back, is because we're forced into the most um, dirtiest toxic parts left in our land and we're fighting back and saying no we're not going to stay on these reservations we're going to break it free out of these concentration camps and these prisoner of war camps and take back our land the remaining 99.8 percent of our territory and that's what we're doing we've been occupying and took back an area that's so-called crown land but it's our Sopatmakuluk it's our land and We've been living there for three years now. We build tiny houses on wheels um, with wood stoves. So we heat everything by wood stoves. We cook bond wood. We haul our water. Um, we live out there full time stopping this pipeline. So it's very serious and very real. We've dedicated our life to this. And my father de dedicated his life, my grandfather. And so like Chairman Fred Hampton, um, Junior, it's a generational struggle. We're not going to stop, and our kids are going to continue this legacy as well. Right on. Yeah. Mention, um, Kim, Bimington or something. And one more thing, Kevin. I... Go, go ahead, Coles. Right. No, we go, we go. No, I was going to mention, um, I know at, at the Hampton House, you have the Hampton Hound. Now, I, I've seen a uh, kind of who's, I don't know, what she calls her her uh, <laughs> huskies, the warrior wolves or anything, but uh, she you got a nice brood out there. Yeah, we we end up getting some beautiful huskies donated to us by a supporter, and I actually see she's watching right now. Um, she came wow. and gave a. Uh, Alaskan Husky and a Siberian Husky. So we had some full breed Huskies up there and they gave birth to uh, seven little puppies, actually some, seven female puppies. And so we, ha we raised them all the way up, little warrior dogs. We were feeding them raw moose meat and elk meat and getting them ready to be our protectors out here on 
in our communities. So yeah. Hello. Y'all feel free to call in, cub in with us. Uh, 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 any of the terms that have been put forward? It was something you mentioned earlier about the, um, the, the Bemington. Or something else. You said something about the, um, in regards to the land, some of the chemicals. I may be pronouncing it wrong. Bem oh, yeah, the bitumen. Bitumen. The bitumen yeah. is, a, is a toxic oil, and the way that you harvest it, like, you know how everyone has the, how they extract through the oil wells, the drilling. This way is an extraction through a mining process that's very dirty. Mm -hmm. um, it could go anywhere from down 200 meters into the earth and it's through the sands, the tar sands. So it's extracting it through a very dirty extraction process and cleaning the, this bitumen from the sand. Mm -hmm. And this bitumen um, is the consistency of peanut butter, which they can't flow through the pipe. So they yeah. dilute it with another toxic um, substance, in this case, a byproduct of the fracking process. And so, hence, they call it dilbit, this bitumen that's um, mixed with the diluted, dilutin. Wow. And so it's called dilbit. And Kalamazoo spill, if people heard about that, the Kalamazoo spill on the Great Lakes or the Kalamazoo mm. River, um, it was actually a bitumen spill, a dilbit spill. So. They thought that it was going to be lighter, so it wasn't going to sink, but in fact, it just separated. Mm -hmm. And the, the heavy part, the bitumen actually sunk. And so the conventional ways to clean up oil will never work with this. Mm -hmm. This is impossible to clean up. So that's the danger of putting these pipes through a pristine Rocky Mountains, glacier rivers and creeks and salmon bearing creeks and rivers that we depend on. It's um, catastrophic. It's going to just destroy who we are by destroying our land. And that's mm -hmm. why this is so terrible of a pipeline. It's not the conventional oil. Um, the top economists of Canada are saying that this is not going to make money. And we know it's a military pipeline. They said they're going to use the military to bring it in. And they want this oil for the power. That's why it's being called the military pipeline. That's what mm -hmm. we're people are dubbing it so we know that Canada and the world mm -hmm. yes. want to hold on all the oil reserves I mean look at what's happening in the Middle East they're starting wars over over control of man, the oil man, reserves man, yes, yes. and this is the size of Texas so you know they're looking at Canada as a conflict-free zone that they can just do this mining and get away with it pushing indigenous people aside arresting us throwing us in jail but indigenous people like the youth like Lady of Rage said, the youth are standing up to hundreds of cops there, and sometimes there's only 20 of them. Mm. And that's what we're facing right now. So with these pipelines, talking about, you know, different, you know, um, oil reserves, the, 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 um, you know, even Chicago, the, the, um, the um, after the 7, uh, 290 Expressway, Chicago itself, uh, you know, the geographic locations of, what you know, saying uh, the, the drugs can be ran through, um, the Panama Canal, you know, these, um, this has to be inclusive in the conversation with certain, you know, saying, you know, with conflict is happening that, you know, saying, uh, it's with trade routes, you name it. This, you know, saying, it's, 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 uh, has a political significance to it. Need y'all to call in. Need y'all to, uh, again, feel free to call in. Cub in with us. We live, we live, we live in the record. 924 777 Well, give me, give me, give us a time check and check. I'm, they got me bouncing around so much. I don't be knowing what time zone I'm in. I don't know if I'm in Pacific Central, but I feel like I'm even guys in that commercial joint. So we love you, uh, Detroit. They be like, man, this, you're in the wrong city. I don't, well, uh, give us, give me, give me, give me a time check. What, 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 uh, Central time. What is it? Central time. 10 to 8. 10 to 8. 750. Okay. You got any callers in queue? Free Mall, Brother Chairman. I'm calling 504 432 Free Mall. Free Mall, welcome to Free Mall Radio. Free Mall. Caller? They may be. Check your mute button, call them. Press one. Check back in with us, call them.
And we'll call Terry, it. Terry, um, you were mentioning before. Okay. No, I'm saying call, to call, to the call and get back in with us. Go, go ahead. What you saying? Um, you were mentioning before. Um, you were talking about the importance of the one prison and one contact. But you never got to finish your thoughts on that. You know, one person, one contact. Man, we we gonna we gonna be we had we had actually listen for that. We have to be reinstating that. That's at any given time. Everyone in the uh, community, everyone, should be able to give us a status check on the um, the status of a particular prisoner, whether it be Mumia Abu Jamal, whether it be Jerry Odinga Dunnigan, whether it be Tyrone Pettis. They should be able to run his name, run her run her name, run the the ID number down. They should say if they're in isolation status or they're in, if they're in commissary denial. To be able to give a rundown any given t uh, uh, time. This is, and the relationship got to be reciprocal. You know, so also, the prisoner should be able to give an update um, um, what's going you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 some updates to the community, you know, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, what, you know, what's going on up, uh, up inside, behind the wall. And they should also be kept abreast on some of the outside, you know, situations happening in the outside community. So the one prison, one contact. Again, we want, we want to stress that people need, you know, need to be on point with that, press that, uh, status check. Because I, I mentioned earlier that you know Adolf Hitler, some of his initial victims in the gas chambers was those who did not receive any mail. The state study who has support. So again, we got to be on point for that. So again, one prison, one contact, y'all. Got to push that. It's imperative. Real talk. You don't know that about it. The people are the people are our best security. You know, you know what I'm saying? People are our best security. So again, you get uh, uh, that that goes that's that's in that's in the arena. In fact, um, we've had situations outside the community when the, you know, uh, the police terror has intensified. We able to make su such survival programs, the, um, the buddy, the buddy, the buddy, the buddy uh, uh, campaign. In other words, you can't leave outside by yourself. Uh, let me throw this in there too. I'm thinking. I, um, We'll be talking about this on sure in the upcoming um, weeks of Freedom on Radio. Well, I'm thinking about this, uh, George, the George, uh, the, well, Derek Chauvin, case of Derek Chauvin, Niles, and I, forget, I can't recall the other pig's name, uh, regards to the, the murder of George Floyd. I do recommend, I do recommend everyone, look at, look at the full footage, not just the footage that came from the community, but the footage that came from the pigs. This is not from the horse's mouth, from the pig's mouth. Look at the video footage of uh, and the conversation. Look at the... The pleading of George Floyd um, prior to being murdered. Look at look at look at the passenger who was in the passenger seat. There's some questions. I mean, I mean, what the the quote unquote? And I'm using this term loosely. The relationship between the black community, in particular, you know, and colonized communities in general, with that of the police. You know what I'm saying? It's you know it should be. Um, why is there? Why is there this fear? Why is there an attempt to, you know, go, you know, to become childlike or meek? You know, in response when police come, and you know, and just, I mean, uh, heartless is, is not the word. It's deep in the heartless. I mean, uh, we've seen this murder of Eric Garner. Seen this, you know, saying, you know, so we've seen this. The, the, uh, it, uh, it being articulated, you can you can listen to George Floyd's last words. And I think that should you know, that should be on this tombstone. I mean, and you know, the, the, the reaching out, for, I mean, saying his mother's name, his daughter's name, and I mean, as, you know, uh, knowing what time it is. A lot of people say that we must learn. We don't know the law. It's the reason why we have issues. Not big to differ. I think we we, we we do know the law, and the law knows us. You know, you know, uh, George Floyd seen it coming. You know, uh, and this is not something that you can 
Right. You know, you can go to law school and find out about it. This is something that you learn, as Malcolm X said, through the ghettos and prisons of America. You know what I'm saying? You learn, through, you learn on, the, on the reservations. You learn in the, um, the galleries of prison the, the, uh, that when the police come, they're not coming to uh, retrieve a cat out of the tree. They're not coming to, um, to do a social service. You know, they, they're coming as, as hunters. They see our community is praying. As Minister Uri Pinu said, it's, it's, it, it operates as an occupying army. And, you know, regard, you know, that you just can see, like, um, the Black Panther Party had articulated the different tentacles, different dynamics, you know, that, that impact our community from the greedy aborations, the greedy aborations business, businessmen to demagogic politicians, the fascist paid cops, and that was more than, that the front line of being the police. At the nonchalant when the when the, minister, when the when the police had came up in the store, and just from the, the word of the store owner and cup cup foods that it was a counterfeit twenty, not no no checking, just automatically. You know what I'm saying? Just moving. I mean, no no questions or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just I, I'm just moving the arrogance. You know, you know. Um, and we're told not coming not, not even raise con don't they don't raise contradiction. Don't even I recall being in the store. And I got the money back, the change back, and I got to putting the twenty up in the air and looking at it, and sh you know, checking, make sure it wasn't counterfeit. And I remember that the store owner was like, "What are you doing?" I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm checking to make sure it's, it's, it's legitimate. It's, it, and you, you, I mean, obviously, what's disrespect? I said, just yes, switch it around. Do the, see how it looks. How does it even look? You know what I'm saying? And just look, look at the video footage of the. the uh, I think I think it was Chauvin or the other police. Just, I mean, automatically the arrogance just go and just the the. the, the the breaking process, like what 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 has happened? To I mean that you've seen, I mean this I, this, is, this is no attack on, on on anybody, but this is the immediate words the passage in the car with George Floyd. As soon as the police came up, I mean, his response, I'm, uh, yes, boss, literally, literally, yes, boss, wow. literally. These were the, the passenger, you know what I'm saying, and that whole. With it breeze and just the the, the the terror, not the fear, the terror of not even want to look at what's happening behind him. Don't I don't don't, don't, even, don't even want to see it. Don't even want to see it. And this is something that's is passed down. And it, the arrogance of the occupying army to come through our communities at will and just to hope that we can get back home. You know what I'm saying? Get back in the the, the terms. Soon, I mean. The, the 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 pain you know what I'm saying of of dope men you know what I'm saying the, the, I mean look like crying you know and you know I, I've said on, on a number of occasions that Chicago has a serious gang problem California has a serious gang problem Cleveland has a serious gang problem the worst gang is that of the police that I mean you uh, um, that the, the the footage of them driving the car. It's literally a drive-by. I mean, it's literally, it's, it's literally a gang. It's literally, it's literally a drive it's, getting, it's, it's a hit going down. Where they pull up, you know what I'm saying, just to get up with the cockiness and just the arrogance to come through, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and again, a fear of, I'm not even going to look at what's going on. The, 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 the positioning, you know what I'm saying, and, and just having you detained, having you handcuffed up, sit on the ground, the demeaning, the, the, the public the public display yeah yeah the public display and you know see and this is this is the history in which you know saying this is the inception of the police it was for you know uh the catch of runaway slaves this is the birth of it this is it and this uh, uh um and i encourage people to look at how the discussion this is this is the modus operandi how these criminals operate you know, uh, in our community, and I tell you, it's, it seems a norm, and we get sidetracked to wonder if a person, and if they're trying to do it now, is a, is a person getting high off drugs, so on and so forth, but the arrogance of it, you know, and again, the, the breaking process. So we're going to be talking about that, but, but, uh, but in the meantime, between time, check out that footage. Check out that footage. You know what I'm saying? Man. We live and direct on Freedom on Radio, making history, taking history, taking history, y'all. It's what it is, y'all. That's what it is. Any calls and cues to the call? I'm going to do a little more research. Um, Freedom on. Freedom on. I'm going to have calls. 
Yeah, Primo, welcome, caller. Yeah, Primo, how you doing, brother? Fred, uh, Chairman Fred, I'm just showing you. Primo, Lady Ray, how y'all doing tonight, man? We will on this Primo. end. Welcome, Primo. Welcome, Primo, make it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going under the L of your name, your prize, so that's a pseudonym I write books under, and I got a podcast under. I just wanted to touch on basis, what you just said, brother, about the Gary Chauvin case, because I got a blog called The Government and the Pigs, not the biggest gang in history. You know, because I need to touch bases on that, especially with this case that's going on, and how nothing changes with this system. As you know, years and years, we constantly see these pigs that murder unknown black men, women, and children, and they go to the legal system and they continuously get off with a slap on their wrist. And I mm-hmm. like how you put it, the arrogance of these pigs, how they just come up to black men and women and automatically use excessive force. I said this in one of my podcasts that all of the police get self-defense training. Every police officer has self-defense training for unarmed combat. But never once do you ever see or hear about a big shoot the one with a black man that has not a weapon. They immediately go to the weapon to kill that man. And it's just sickening. You know, the arrogance of these pigs, like you said, brother, you know, it's just ridiculous. And like you said, we need to continue this conversation to keep the ball rolling because they keep trying to distract us with everything instead of us focusing on the true villain and that's the government of this country and the system at hand. Yes, indeed. We appreciate your call. Appreciate your summation. Give us, give us, give us, give us um, uh, a, a, a more time and how people can uh, tune in your podcast. Okay, well, yeah, I go under the name Gabe Your Prize, so you can check me out on Twitter at Gabe Your Prize 3. I got the podcast on Spotify. It's called the Gabe Your Prize Podcast. You know, hey, 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 speaking of speaking of which, speaking of which, give us, give us, give us, you know, if you can't do, uh, give us the back, give our listeners a little background on, on Gabriel Pross if you can. <laughs> well, Gabriel Pross is a pseudonym that I use. Uh, I don't know if you Yes, indeed. So, uh, Gabriel Prosser, for those who don't know, he predated Reverend Nat Turner, correct? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh, Fred Hampton Jr. Yeah. 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 yeah, my, my, my point, no, right on. Yeah, my point, yeah, right on. My point, no, no, no doubt. I mean, no doubt. Never to take, never to take nothing from the um, uh, late great Reverend Nat Turner. I was just saying that to say, to put it in context that resistance, you know, uh, you know, um, it's been, it's, 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 it happens with us. We, because we was struggling against a narrative. That you know, like Mother Comrade Aku always talks about you know, uh, this uh, narrative they give us about the content slave. You know, we see the images, you know, you know, that we, you know of the smile and we were happy, and there may have been a couple of problems here, that, but we've been getting down. We've been getting down. We've been fighting, and if you believe that this system was going to tell you, was going to tell you about the uprisings that we've had, you, 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 you're mistaken. You know what I'm saying? I, I talk about like when you see TVs like. <laughs> You, you see TV shows like uh, Cops. I tell you, I say, you think they're going to show you, they, they're not going to edit, they're not going to edit. When the people running from the police, they're not gonna, they, they have to edit those out, the ones that got away. They got to edit that out, the ones that beat the police down. They, they, oh can't, they, can't, God, they, can't, show, they can't show it to you. you know, they, know it. They, they just killed the 17 year old boy in Virginia. They had the mm. dash cam footage of the police were beat. 
It was a black dude who busted the U-turn in the highway. 17 year old black dude. The police got out of the car, walked up to him. Straight shot the boy in the car. You can't hear nothing from the dash cam video. Yeah. That's what they released to the public. Yes. To tell his mother that that killer was justified. Yes. You know, like man. You know, these kids, man, you know, it just makes me sick. That you know, news. Like that blog, the government and the pigs are the biggest gang in history. That news, that news, the news media do more editing than the Hollywood movie, man. Real talk, you know, and um, that's that's the reality, man. So it's, it was a, it was a comedy. I think it might be on Living Color one time. They had like a little skit: the black family and the white family watching the same news channel, watching the same news show, and you have to you have to take into account the history what you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Because I like even. I think it's in India. Yeah, yeah. When they train the elephant in India, if the elephant steps on a cup or something of the sort and the trainer steps on the cup and the elephant sees it, they have to get rid of that particular elephant. Because the elephant, the logic is the elephant going to get back the rest of the, elef- the, rest of the elephants be like, hey, man, dude, I was just out there with um, Mr. Such and Such, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> with, the, with, the, with the whip. And I noticed that I did a lot more damage to this cup, you know what I'm saying? And that was just me out there, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. it, it becomes contagious. You know, like, they, it was a big thing about, like, even with David Walker, David Walker's appeal, when the, um, the, his book, they, they, the, 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 the sea men would pass transporting it. They walked past, they, they had a certain body language, saying, you got it, you heard about it? There was a um, uh, certain sentiment that was, you know what I'm saying, going from, the, from uh, Florida through the Carolinas, with the uprisings going down, and slave masters would get together and say, hey, man, hold on, man, the word is, is getting out, you know, so about these uprisings, you know, and, um, and so, you know, communications and war, yeah. communication is a major thing to, dis- to, dis- to dismantle on that, and the breaking process, you know, it's so like they would take, uh, was it Gabriel Parsons or was it Reverend, well, Reverend Ned Turner also, but they uh, they took the, the spray of the body parts out all over, you know what I'm saying? And they you know, they held up to the the people that, that, that don't don't do this. And I was in Maywood uh, the other, uh, last week, if a week ago, and a brother about I think he was exactly 50 years old. He pulled me to the side while his wife and his mother was stand, standing by the side. He had tears in his eyes, okay. and he had said to me. He said, man, I asked my father. He said, they, first of all, he said they was at the movie. He was at the movie, and he was telling them everything that happened in the Judas and the Black Messiah before it happened. He said, man, he said, he said yeah, the Kool-Aid going to get poisoned. And his mother and his mother and wife, his wife and mother said, how do you know all this? He said, I talked to his wife. He said, she's on the phone. He said, I talked to his son. And then he, said, then he asked his father. Why did I never, why I never knew about Chairman Fred Hampton and the Black Panther Party? And his, his, his brother, 50 years old, tears in his eyes. He says, Father told him, Son, we just wanted to have peace after that. You know? And every once in a while, we get a reminder this system is hell bent, it's diametrically opposed to peace. Is that it? it does, it's, it's, it's a contradiction. It's a, it's a, it, it doesn't. It, it, it don't. It, it, can't, it can't. Capitalism cannot exist that way. There has to. Be, you know. It, it has. It's, um, it has to have war. It has to have murder. It has. You know, it's, it's, this is a. This is a. This is a. It's like certain things you can make. You say, okay, well, I'm missing some eggs. I mix. I put, put extra egg. I can still make a cake. I put extra cake, uh, uh, extra uh, milk in there. Capitalism is a parasitical politic. It's a parasitical economy. It's a blood sucking politic. It's a blood sucking economy. It needs to have those who are exploited. Yeah, you're right. That is a mandatory ingredient. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, but, we but must. I gotta say, it's an honor. I'm sorry, brother. No, go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. You're good. You're good. No, I was just gonna say, you know, I gotta say, it's an honor to speak. Man, and Lady of Rays, you know, both of y'all, you know, true icons in my life. You know, I'm from Virginia, like I said, the Black Panthers actually changed my life. You know, my dad, he was a big follower of the Black Panthers. He used to start to make me read the books when I was like nine years old. So, you know, that whole theory of your dad and Bobby Jill and Huey P. Newton, you know, all of those theories, I truly believe in. 
and I right truly on. believe what the man said, I am a revolutionary. Right on. Because, you know, like, we have to do better. You know, with the arrogance of these big, now, check this out. I said something about it. I put a poll up on Twitter about the Derek Chauvin case and how many people think he's going to get off. Mm. 100% of the people voted that he was going to get off. Mm. So, now, we need to watch this case on the 29th because this is going to be a blatant stick in our face as the black race. And it's going to continue to show us that we cannot rely on this system. I mean, us voting in this system is like us believing in the fucking Easter Bunny, man. So you, you know, because so you right. stand out there in the cold with a cup of noodle soup trying to vote. And now they have racist Joe Biden, Kamala Harris locked up more black people as the district attorney in Alameda County, California. Mm. But now we have both of these races in places of office that's not going to do anything for the black race to further our fight. And like you said, with these kids continuing to be arrogant and kill these black people on arm every day, this man murdered this man in front of millions on TV. Mm-hmm. What the hell do we have to wait a year for to see that he is guilty? This is the hypocrisy of this country. That's why I wrote the book mm-hmm. called Hypocritical, entitled Hypocritical America. You know, and it's sickening, man. Like, again, man, I really appreciate this opportunity to speak to you, brother. And you as well, Lady of Rage. Y'all definitely made my day. I hope something that I said can enlighten and help some people. I took all of the information down for these brothers because I was in prison mm. myself. This came home in 2015. So I'm definitely going to push these letters because I know how mm. it feels to be locked up behind the walls and forgotten about. Show you right. Show you right. Show you right. Yeah. Right on. We appreciate you calling me. Thank you, bro. You know, and I'm all. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get off and let y'all finish y'all thing, man. But I really appreciate this. And I'm going to definitely check y'all out every Wednesday. I'm so going to put right. me down with this website and your radio show. So I'm going to definitely be checking you out. So you right. So you right. Spread the word. I love- definitely will. I love y'all, man. Hey, if y'all can do anything, let's just keep it together and we're going to free them all, man. So you right. Free them all. Yes, sir. Yeah. Free them all, right on, y'all. We, hey, we live in the wreck, y'all. Make sure y'all, t- y'all t- tap in with us at SaveTheHamptonHouse.org. Also, GoFundMe.com forward slash SaveTheHamptonHouse51. Cash app, dollar sign, SaveTheHamptonHouse. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all check, remember these names. Uh, Orlando Wiley, uh, Tyrone Pettis, um, uh, Brian Smith, you know what I'm saying? Your cousin, lady down the street, Umi Abu Jamal, Sunday out at Coley, Rochelle St. Q. McGee. It's so many of them, you know what I'm saying, man? I wish I could just say, well, I, you know, it's, it's not enough to go around for everybody. There's more than enough for everybody to have one prisoner, one contact. Oh. Sad to say. There's more than enough for everyone to have a statue with some particular prisoner, y'all. Yeah. Real talk. Making history. Taking history. Taking history, y'all. We locked and loaded, y'all. Historical Stomach Ground, Seattle, Washington, man. That's what it is, y'all. We getting ready. We got some major dates coming up. June 6th. June, Father's Day. Well, you know, I think June 16th, uh, we're going we to be, do, we be doing the big... Birthday celebrations of two of uh, two Parkins, us uh, comrade Queen Daphne. We will get, we will get y'all updates on that. <laughs> yeah. April twentieth, our brother Robert Money, his birthday. Uh, I, he got it posted up. Where well, they gonna be? I think the Alhambra. Father's Day, we have trekking down to um, Haynesville, Louisiana. Check on Chairman Fred. We've been getting uh, these continuous reports about this annual event that law enforcement like to have. You know what I'm saying? And disturbing the grave of Chairman Fred. So, you know, make sure we going down there, you know, check on the chairman. The chairman came checked on us. So we're going to be down there, you know what I'm saying? That's for Father's Day. Uh, we will, Mother's Day, um, uh, we will, we're uh, we going to be doing something definite at the Hampton House. So stay abreast of that. April 3rd, April 2nd and 3rd, they're going to be filming at the Hampton House. We're going to have the Triple C's, Children's Community Club, the program's going on. You know, we're going to be breaking ground at the Hampton, the Hampton House Garden. April 3rd, so y'all come on out there to the Hampton House, 804 South 17th Avenue, Maywood, Illinois, 60153. Come on through. April 3rd, we're we'll breaking the ground to save the Hampton House Community Garden. Uh, August 30th, August 30th, uh, all right now. You know what I'm saying? So y'all tune in with us, Cub being with us, y'all. You know, so we're going to be live and direct, you know. Uh, Let's seize the time. We keep y'all posted, keep y'all updated. You know, real talk. I think we're on the countdown. I think we have 15 more minutes. Um, what else? Those, yeah. update, those updates we get for uh, those, those cases. Again, keep, keep, keep in tune with it, y'all. Free them all, Chairman. Free them all. Uh, um, they can watch, you know, the oh, man. that yeah. uh, yes. Yes. murdered George Floyd. 
you could watch that on court TV, and they probably have it on the uh, that trial for that pig. I can't think of his name. The one that murdered uh, George Derek, Floyd. Derek Chauvin. They televised, yeah, they uh, televised his trial on court TV, and uh, people should tune in to that. They probably got it on YouTube and the other uh, social media, but just uh, try to see the uh, footage from the pig's uh, body cam. But it, they show more than we saw the edited version. It would be very important to see wow. that. And also, I want to uh, let people know that Nightline will be tomorrow uh, on Instagram showing the uh, interview we did uh, about the movie. Yeah. And also to be on Hulu uh, Friday. Okay. Tomorrow it will be on Instagram and then Friday it'll be on Hulu. And uh, Nightline usually airs about 11 uh, Central Time. So check your local listings to see when it'll be, but it'll be on Instagram tomorrow and on Hulu Friday. Sorry again for the interruptions. Excellent show as always. Right. Free them all. Free them all, right on. Free them all. No uh, uh, right on, free them all, make sure I tune in. Okay, uh, Nisa, you can bring them in real quick. Uh, check that phone. Check the phone. Um, to the comrade down there. I think I think we got we might got time. And we got time. You on the phone? Uh, not yet. Make sure you no, press. No, make sure you press one, niece. Make sure you press one. Free them all. Free them all. Hello? Free them all. Yeah, yeah, free them all. Free them all. Daddy, 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 you all, daddy. Okay. Real, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Alaykum, my brother. How you doing, Aki? Hey, we, we How good. you doing? I miss you, Aki. I love you and I miss you. Miss you and love you too, sir. The cinemas are reciprocal, man. We gonna put out your name, your ID, man. We oh, hey, hey, we, hey, we, hey, we moving it, hey, we moving, we pushing the line about the the, the, the letters to you. You know what I'm saying? Look, look for them letters and also uh, the prison review board. Anything, any other march notices that you know what I'm saying? Regards to your case that people need to do or did you recommend? Feel free to get it on out there to us, brother. Line is open. Okay. Uh, my name is Tyrone Petty, P E T T I S. My last name, P E T T I S. The number N five two seven eight five. I'm coming to you, brothers and sisters, from Danville, Illinois, Danville Correctional Center. I'm presently, I'm presently is waiting on a, a prison review board for a clemency. Inshallah, things go well. Um, I'm, a, I'm waiting on this moment right now. Also. I'm in court with a 214.01 in room 204 in Cook County Jail. I'm, I'm striving to break the seal. I've been locked down 22 years for a case that I did not commit. All the time, I've been in this demonstration dealing with these drugs for so long that it's, it's, it's irking me to see how things are unfolding and how things are accomplishing in these, in these years more crypts. At this point right now, we're going through this pandemic, and they are not really doing what they're supposed to do, but they're trying to do it as a way as they're trying to make it look like things are all as well when it is not. Mm -hmm. At this point right now, we're trying to make sure that we as a whole break this seal and get these brothers out of here that's been incarcerated for over 20 years. We've been waiting on these people's to do some type of laws and try to pass some kind of bills to try to get us up out of this demonstration that the brothers are trying to unfold a measure to, to let all the other brothers know that we are definitely trying to break this seal. We, hey, we own it. Um, Takil, um, Marlon, they call in. They're going to be keeping us updated. If any court dates you think we need to have, we need to have bodies there, feel free. We online every Wednesday. The line is open for you, my brother. I love you. I miss you. We love you. We miss you, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? And that way we can support. We on deck. We go. We gonna put the call out for those letters. We gonna post up the name, the ID number. If it's a court, a, 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 they change the court date and get to be there. Do not, do not hesitate to get word to us. You know what I'm saying? We get some bodies down there. And we are gonna be pushing those call in. Man, and we own it, my brother. We own it, man. Man, again, love and miss you, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm flashing back down memory lane. You are, you know, what I'm saying, you, hey, you, want, hey, you, you wanted, you wanted to catch that impacted me. You know, what I'm saying, growing up, my brother. I mean that, real talk, man. Got a lot of love, respect for you, man. You know, uh, we here for you. This, this line is always open for you, bro. Always. Pam, Pam, do a lot, keep, man. It's a blessing hearing you. I miss you. I always. And asking my the daughter about you all the time. Uh, you know we we family, my yes, brother sir. in law, and yes, I love. Sir. And I'm trying to uh, make sure that these things unfold righteously. And uh, my clemency, uh, I'm not on this docket. Uh, my counselor told me that I'm not on this docket, so I may be on the July docket. But uh, all the time we need for any assistance for any of the brothers and the sisters that's in tune, that's in Springfield to aid me. To break this seal, all I need is somebody to push for me to, to to say that you know they support me to break this seal, and uh, they'll be able to aid me when I break this seal when I come home. We That's on all it. I need. Even though you not, you're not on this present doctor, we let, let they 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 gonna have a backlog of let, letters. So when, you, when the next docket come up, those letters will be already on standby and, and, and more coming. So we gonna go, we gonna do, uh, we gonna move proactively. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to wait wait till the docket come up. We gonna go and get our letters in right now, you know what I'm saying? So um, th uh, th that's how we, that's how we moving, you know what I'm saying? So we got people, we gonna have people calling from all walks of life, from the clergy to the barber shop to the pool hall to you know what I'm saying to the uh, uh, ch uh, children. Uh, 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 so a lot of stuff going on. You got the thing called the Zoom, so the, 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 the TikTok. So we, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all type of stuff. You know, we, we look forward to. With, um, they they look they look like somebody else because I really ain't got all I ain't hip to all of it myself yet. But the, we gonna be putting the word about your case on every form of social media, every um line of communication. Your name and ID number gonna be tied into it, and we'll be getting those we getting those letters in. Yes, sir. Truly, that's a blessing. I keep and uh, I stress a point on my demonstration is definitely uh, a case uh, on the Europe and. Uh, they, 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 they put me through the wrinkle, through the whole demonstration, and, uh, we just trying to, as, uh, the brothers to understand how they are unfolding with these, with our, with our brothers and sisters, and, uh, it's the difference from when one's got a case on their own brothers and sisters yeah. and one's got a case on the girl. No so, doubt about it. Just, 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 right, just to make sure that's, just, that's, that's, that's you know, make that clear. No doubt this about it. This demonstration that I'm on is on the Europe. No doubt about it. We you know what I'm saying? So we, 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 we pushing the line, man. I, I don't know if you got the word. We got a saying we say. You know, we don't just want to say it to you again, man. We got your back like a backpack. Got your chest like a bulletproof vest. So we on it. We pushing the line. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, okay. I, it's, it's, it's good to hear your voice. Uh... Like you say, we're going to try to keep in contact as much as we can. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to put you in tune with anything that I, I hear from the state Please. about my case. Yes. About, uh, this MC demonstration. Right on. I got, you, I got your letter. I got your letter. It was inspirational, man. It was inspirational, man. Real talk, man. I, hey, I flashback, hey, man. Hey, you always had a head on your shoulders, brother, man. Hey, still, hey. Fisherman recognize other fishermen, man. I look forward to you touching down with us, man. Cause you are, you are, you are, you are credit you are credit to the community, man. You know what I'm saying? And we look forward to touching you touching down. So you keep us uh, keep us abreast. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, every Wednesday we here. But in the meantime, between the time, you don't get through to me directly. Let, let, man, let, 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 let my niece know. Hit us up. Some you know, something going on. We don't care what it is. We on deck, man. We on deck. Okay, I keep. It's a blessing hearing you, sir. I'm gonna let you finish the program. I love you all. We love and you. I give all my love to all the brothers and sisters of the world. Salam alaikum, my brother. Alaikum salam, my brother. Yes, salam. I love you so much, Daddy. I love you too, baby. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Uncle Swin. I 
Anytime, anytime, anywhere. Anytime, anywhere. Anytime, anywhere. Man, real talk, y'all. Daddy, call me. Back. All right. Twenty out. Man, it's an honor. Hey, no doubt, sir. Yes, sir. Twenty to you, brother, man. We live and direct, y'all. Did this here. It's an honor to serve the people. Um, to put this in political context, this, these, this is not a conversation or campaigns that can be relegated to Black History Month or lecture time when it's politically correct. These are conversations that we must have on a consistent basis. On a consistent basis, you know what I'm saying? Um, on the poetry sets, the barbershop, the Zoom, social media, you know what I'm saying? The, the gossip lines. So I want to know what some good gossip at. What's going on with Grapevine? I said, man, there's some, it's some, it's some, it's some, it's some, it's some gossip going around that they got this thing, this campaign about freeing me out with Jamal. What's the latest rumor? What's some rumor going about, about Free Rap Brown? What's some good conversation? Somebody, some Tyrone Pettis. This, what's, what's, what's the word? What kind of, what's, the new, what's the new beat going on? I, what, what, the, what the rappers talking about? Tie this in. Tie these cases in. Tie these campaigns in. Real talk. It's cold red, y'all. Free Tyrone Pettis. Free Mumi Abu Jamal. Free Sunday Adia Coley. Free Orlando Wally. Free your cousin. Free the sisters down the street. So what's the call? Free them all. Free them all, y'all. We live and direct, y'all. We down to the countdown. You know, better way to close out this show. From words from behind enemy lines. You know, the connection, you know what I'm saying? Um, this was not, these, 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 these episodes are not scripted. I recommend y'all take them, repost them. Um, put them inside a, a tool. And they did Timbuktu. Bury it. Make sure they're on the reservation talking about this. Make sure they're in the ghetto talking about this here. You heard real deal testimonies. Regardless of what you heard through Tarzan and John Wayne movies. Real deal resistance is happening in the red community, the black community, the brown community, y'all. Find a principal coalition, y'all. Comrade Daphne, give us something to take us out with, y'all. Again, you have been riding another episode of Free Amar Radio, Radio, Radio Chairman Free Hampton, Robert Allen, and Robert Allen, a.k.a. Lady Rage. Connor who's do we like to know it, you know what I'm saying? We, we give y'all a historical layout about campaigns that we've engaged in. And we're not talking about it from a, from, from a perspective of retirement, about how bad things used to be. We're making that connection from the cases of Linda Peltier, Mami Abu Jamal, Tyrone Pettis, Orlando Wally, challenging the disposing of the, the, the conscience of the pipelines to what's happening in Chirac. Making a connection to, you know what I'm saying, with the, the, the Norfolk Railroad, which was in Inglewood, Chicago. Excuse me, Chirac. Making that connection, y'all. Everything's political, y'all. So, Conrad, what you got to close, what you got to take us out with? Free them all, Chairman. Free them all. Free them all, the capital. Free them all. Let's do it. Let's make history. Let's take this. Let's take this. Free them all.
Only be fitting before we leave about a Seattle Washington, y'all. Give us Revolution a shout out. And Savage Fam, Marius, and uh, Rod Simone, y'all. Shout out, man. Stoke with Stomping Ground, Seattle Washington. Let's make history. Let's take history. Thank you for Let's take history. Another episode. Free them all, radio. Free them all. Free them all. <clears throat>